What's up guys, Adeo Marquez 702 here and welcome to a brand new discussion video for Super Smash Bros for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS as this has actually been quite a long time since we've actually done a video on this kind of stuff guys um, ever since you know Bayonetta and Korn released uh, like three or four months ago um, yeah not really much has been happening for the Smash community as for you know new stuff and new characters or new updates but recently my boys we got ourselves a new update 1.16 or that's at least how I think it is um, and it's actually pretty crazy because um, the update uh, which was I believe last week or maybe two weeks ago um, actually only affected one particular thing and of course since Bayonetta has been destroying everybody for the past few um, months now as for you know stats um, in tournament play and just her complete bullcrap play style when it comes to air combos and just traps and everything like that now it's actually been stopped with this particular update and we are actually here on gamefacts.com uh, talking about the nerf for Bayonetta because literally this was like the one thing that was changed as for the whole entire game just Bayonetta has been nerfed severely and um, a lot of people are pissed about this like not just not just a few people um, but a lot of people um, only because her playstyle was just insane like absolutely crazy how she played out with the air combos and no escape of getting out and also just complete traps um, for people using her for uh, tournament play but now it has actually come to an end and if you guys are wondering what my opinion on this is it's just really I don't know, I'm just kind of staying neutral about this because I personally don't really use Bayonetta that often when I'm playing Smash. You know, I usually stick to my my um, my select few of characters like Sonic, Captain Falcon, um, who else? Like freaking, um, I do use Corrin a lot. I gotta say, I do love Corrin because um, of he slash um, she, her playstyle. It's awesome, I love Corrin. Um, so I usually stick to those kinds of characters. Never really played Bayonetta, like, seriously, um, except for when I first got the characters themselves. So I really can't give my own opinion on if this is good or not, or bad, because, you know, it's not really that big of a deal to me. It's just kind of funny to see how many people are reacting to this. Because look at this. Um, so even if you guys can see the tab, you guys probably can't see the tab, but it says Bayonetta's nerf is bull and then bleep because they're trying to censor it. So, even the title right there says that. It's crazy how many people are getting upset. The topic contains spoilers. You can click tab or highlight to reveal them. So, we're going to be checking out this, um, you know, just complete, um, like, rain, like, downpour of comments right here because people are actually talking about it. So, okay. She placed in top three despite having only one release for a few weeks, winning against players that had been using the character for over a year. Given the time to master her, I have no doubt she would have become somewhere between Melee Fox and Brawl Meta, uh, ben Blech, Meta Knight. Um, I actually really agree on that because Bayonetta um, was definitely that character who just traps everyone and has endless combos you just can't escape out of. Such as Meta Knight having a great, um, just a great moveset. Um, and also Melee Fox was actually um, a character used a lot in Melee uh, as for tournament play. So she was kind of um, in the middle of those two as for, um, you know, uh, tournament play and just most used characters. Let's actually continue. Um, in terms of uh, centralization, she didn't have anywhere near the tools to accomplish that. Understand that even in 1.14, where Bayonetta was the strongest, Sheik was still the better character. So... Let's see. I mean, this is obviously an opinion. This isn't like a fact or anything like that. But yeah, a lot of people are pissed about this. Um, uh, but actually, no. This person is actually defending the the, uh, the case here. You know, he's kind of defending the place. I mean, defending the fact that Bayonetta wasn't as good as she was um, at all. Like he's trying to say that Bayonetta wasn't even that ridiculous. He thought that Sheik was still top tier or the best character in the game. So, let's see, even in 1.15, she had less tools than Sheik ever did. Worse frame data than Sheik ever did. I don't know about that one. More weaknesses than Sheik ever had. Actual bad matchups and things that could be taken advantage of. Even if 1.15 had been the last one, it's absurd that to think that she could have been more centralized than Brawl, Meta Knight, or Melee Fox when she wasn't even as good as Sheik was. So, wow, that's actually huge shots fired right there. So this man's basically saying that there wasn't even 
like a thought of Bayonetta being the best character in the game as for 1.15 because obviously that's when she was released right uh was it 1.14 it was one of those two but um yeah it's crazy i don't know um and they're still talking about Sheik and i gotta say i do have to disagree with the whole Sheik was still the best character thing because i don't know Sheik as for the new update um for 1.15 definitely was not the best it's pretty much the only reason why zero decided to drop chic <laughs> so yeah there goes that info um yeah chic actually has been nerfed severely over the past few updates as for range for her needles you know her neutral be right yeah so the range on that has been shortened um she's not as um she can't do as much damage as she used to even though she couldn't really do that much damage anyway so you know chic was kind of just completely dead uh, for 1.15. Um, let's see, any other ones? Let's see. Okay, which time isn't a counter? And quite frankly, if you were getting hit by it, it was your own fault, right? Because the victim attacked Bayonetta first. Um, I suppose that Corrin should have been pre-patched counter surge back too. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> gotta say, Corrin's uh, counter is kind of ridiculous, or at least it was until the uh, 1.15 uh, update came along. Then it kind of got like nerfed because when she, well, God, when Corrin first got uh, released as a character, holy crap, it was insane how much damage and how much knockback that counter was. I would get killed at like 50 to 60 percent from that counter. It was ridiculous. Oh my god, you're right in that, that it's not a counter because it's a dodge, but still has the potential to be far too rewarding when simply thrown out in the face of an attack, kind of like Counter Surge. Also, I'm not sure when we're playing the same, oh, I'm not sure we're playing the same game. The only thing which time has in common with Warrior's Waft is the required input and maybe frame data, which I'm too lazy to check. So, they're, they're going back and forth, these people, basically talking about, like, Bayonetta, you know, it's not a big deal that she was nerfed, or... Like, kind of talking about the fact that her counter, um, wasn't really a counter, it was just kind of, um, something you, like, should know not to get hit with, you know, like, people are just defending the fact that Bayonetta's nerf was necessary, and, I don't know, I'm kind of leaning more towards that side of it necessary being nerfed, because, um, I don't know, I just felt it too ridiculous, her combos, um... Alright, Sheik has great options, yes, but there weren't as outright powerful as that. She had issues with outright killing, which Bayonetta never did. She really didn't have the issues with outright killing, though. She had the best frame data in the game, up to the point where she can make the wrong move in neutral, yet still win it. Good point right there, oh my lord. Could not camp a Toon Link in a teleporting KO move, and for some reason, half her aerials didn't seem to have landing lag half the time. Basically saying that, yeah, there's no way to escape her, um, her side B into up air, I mean, up B, and then, um, up air to finish off, um, most opponents. So, that's what this post is mainly talking about, or at least some of these, uh, posts are talking about. Basically saying that the, like, Bayonetta needed this nerf, um, and that frame data, uh, frame data, as for her, was absolutely insane, like, perfect, and that, um, like, there was no landing lag, no lag at all with her moves, or for any inputs, so, that's what other people are saying. Let's see if I can find one in which they're defending Bayonetta's nerf. Um, I'm kind of finding the same thing over and over again. Um, let's see, let's see if I can find another, another article, because I found the other one. Let's search that, um... Do you think Bayonetta still needs a nerf? Alright, let's check this one. Oh, this is also in Game Facts. Alright. This should be this should be interesting. Because, oh my god, dude, like Bayonetta's nerf really did impact people. Oh god, it's crazy, man. This was two months ago? Oh, we have a voting system here. So this was even before 1.16. Yes, a big nerf. 31.25% of the people said there should have been a nerf. And then a moderate nerf, basically making um, a pretty large one, but not so much as, like, completely uh, neutralizing all of her moves. A small nerf, that was 9%, oh my god. No change, 17%? How is that even possible? Like, what? Who wouldn't want to change? Small bur- small buff? People still wanted buffs for Bayonetta? Oh my god. Oh wow, that's crazy. And there, yeah, obviously, the, the whole- Big buff and moderate buff, <laughs> buff is the smallest amount because, yeah, there's no way people would want her to be getting even stronger. But still, someone actually, like a select amount of people actually still wanted her to have some, some, um, 
I don't know, like a huge buff or something, or at least a tiny one to make her just a little bit stronger, but even though it wasn't really necessary. But, yeah, for the majority of this uh, poll over here, yeah, there's definitely a lot of people who said there should be a huge nerf. And I guess Sakura, Sakura, <laughs> Sakurai got to take that plan in action and actually put it to use. Don't let other people dissuade you from using characters. I wanted to main her, but I felt a little guilty when everyone started saying she was OP. My boy only trolls and salty persons say that. If you feel good playing Bayo, go play Bayo. Yeah, alright. That's I respect that. Don't let other people dissuade you from using other characters. Okay, that, that was already something. Um Let's see. If you play her because you like her, like me, there's nothing to complain about anyway. If you play her because she's OP, that is cheap. Question is though, what's wrong with her being cheap? Oh, what's wrong with cheap? Oh, okay. I wanted her because I loved how weird her personality was. Okay, interesting. Also, a game is ton of fun. Linear, but there's still plenty to um, exploration to it. Then there's no reason to go for it. People will FG with, uh, will complain sometimes and SD the moment they realize if you're using Bayonetta. That is true. But those are same kind of people who actually trash talk after winning after a 10 streak losing streak. No reason to feel guilty because of those. Wow. So people actually lose matches to Bayonetta like a 10 times losing streak. That's crazy. See, this is why this nerf had to be taken. And that's why this, this whole update with 1.16 had to focus mainly on Bayonetta because she was just getting too ridiculous, too bad. It was just all over the place, guys. But um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. This is actually turning out to be a really long video, so I'm going to end it off right here. But if you guys did enjoy it, I want to keep on seeing more discussions like this on Smash. If there are any other huge nerfs or buffs in the future, please be sure to support your boy. Smash that like button for me, guys. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, I just love doing these. Like, I miss doing these. And also, let me know what you guys think of the new intro, because it's kind of different. Don't really have the same music anymore, and um, a little bit shorter, or maybe not. I don't know. Um, but... Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff in the comments below this video. Really would appreciate it for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll just talk to you all later. But anyway, thanks so much again for watching. And I will see you all next time. Peace, Marquezis. Stay awesome.